I had a, a rail route, and uh, all weekend practice, so really every time we run, I try to uh, sneak in alignment so I can come off right off Justin's heels, and um, I just sprinted. I just executed the play. Um, I seen that they, that they left me open, and uh, Kirk put a, a great ball up, and I was able to finish it. So um, obviously, scoring touchdowns has been something I've dreamed about my whole life in the NFL, so um, it was a great moment. What's the roller coaster of emotions like just through this game and the way it ended? Man, um, this game, this week and last week, is just up and down. But um, as I was telling one of the rookies, like that's the NFL. Like if you look around the the league, it's always one point games, just three points, six point, you know, one possession games, and um, we just got to keep fighting. And that's what was Coach Zim talked about. You know, if we keep fighting with this type of effort and passion and fight, you know, we're gonna win a lot of football games. So um, obviously this one didn't go our way, but um, you know we're gonna just try to you know keep work, keep working. Different for the offense today compared to last week? Um, we eliminated the penalties, obviously. Um, and then, you know, we got clicking. Um, I feel like uh, Dalvin ran the ball very well. Um, you know, O line block, you know, everybody just did their jobs. You know, Adam got in the end zone, Justin got in the end zone, myself. Um, you know, we were, we were just clicking on, on all cylinders and we were executing. Um, so you know, I feel like we got comfortable. You know, we, again, we eliminated the penalties, which is huge, and um, we just played ball. You didn't get into the end zone, but what can you say about Dalvin Cook and his gutty performance today? It was awesome, awesome. Uh, I could tell the way he was running in the first quarter. You know, he was he was popping them. He was waiting for the big one, and um, you know, it's special. You know, some of the some of the young guys, you know, they always want to see him play live. And I tell them, you know, he's different. You know, he's, he's the best back in the league to me, and um, you know, again, a great a great effort from him. And uh, he's a warrior. He, he's out there hurting, and you know, he's still out there getting five a pop. You know, making big plays. I feel like the offense in the second half didn't capitalize on some of the opportunities the defense gave you. I know you guys didn't score after uh, you know the Woods interception when Daniel <coughs> cut sack on third and two. Yeah, I mean we were just trying to just go out there and play ball. You know, I think I don't even know if they weren't stopping us too much. Um, I guess you you know we weren't able to, to capitalize on it, but um, you know we kept fighting, and that's that's all you can do. You know, so, like you said, it was an up and down game, um, and we just kept fighting. So to uh, to not turn the ball over, you know, you reduced the penalties, scored thirty three points. To do all that and still not come away with a win, is that deflating? I wouldn't say like deflating, but I mean we lost. So I mean like it don't matter how we lose, like it, we lost. Like you know my college coach would say you know if they score fifty, we got to score fifty one. You know so it don't matter you know what all we did and all we didn't do. You know we lost. So um, you know but again we we fought. You know it's a lot of we do have a lot of positives. You know like Coach Zim said, if we continue to play like that with that type of passion and continue to fight with that effort. You know we're gonna we're gonna win a lot of games. So um, again we we want to win every game. So it never feels good when you lose. Did it, feel, did it feel like you guys were chasing that extra point throughout the whole game right to the very end? Um no not not really. So we just playing ball. You know some stuff you know it's out of your control. Like it was the pass. You know we move on to the next play and um to try to execute the next one. Say that to Greg after a game like that. Yeah. Um, that no, hard? that that kick didn't lose us the game. First of all, that that kick didn't lose the game. You know, it's it's a bunch of different plays um, throughout the game. I mean, he had a great kick. You know, last week. You know, um, you know in Cincinnati. You know, that one kick didn't lose us the game. You know, we're the team. You know, we love him, and you know he gonna keep knocking them in for us. And you know what happens. So we love him. That's our guy. How do you feel your chemistry with Kirk is growing? It's growing. It's growing a lot. Um, I, I love it. You know, being able to <clears throat> um, being out there and communicate. And, you know he's trusting me, um, and you know we're hitting on these big plays. You know these these uh, fourth down plays, third down plays. You know late in the game, um, I think it's really really building our trust, and um, I'm looking forward to keep on building it. How do you keep this from, from spiraling? I know it's only 0 and 2, and you say there's positives, but you know 0 and 2 right. could could get away from a team pretty quickly. Right. We don't we don't really look you know too too far ahead. You know we're just gonna be with our feet are. You know right now you know we're gonna. Take this 24 hours. We're gonna flush this one, and we're gonna get ready for the next one. So we're not looking too far ahead. You know, it would have been the same way if we were 2 and 0. You know, we're not we're not looking too far ahead. And uh, just beat our feet are. We're gonna go to meetings. We're gonna you know lift. We're gonna practice and prepare each day. So um, we're not looking too far ahead. Just take one day at a time. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks.